Elon Musk is one physical deformity away from being a Bond villain. But I like that. So Mr. Musk just bought Twitter for $44 billion, and there are wildly different reactions from people on Twitter, depending on which side of various issues they happen to be on. People who are on the side of some issue that causes activist content moderators to suspend or ban them are cheering for Elon. People who are on the side of some issue that keeps them safe from suspensions and bans are moaning and wailing. One side thinks Elon is the savior of their freedom of expression on Twitter. The other side thinks Elon is going to destroy the platform by turning it into a cesspool of conspiracy theories and hate speech. Now, to be fair to people in the latter category, many defenders of free speech think that social media should be a free-for-all where anyone can say whatever they want, or at least anything that's legal. I've been on some platforms like that, platforms where people can say whatever they want. Trust me, most of you would not want to be there. As soon as you say something on one of these platforms, you are immediately bombarded from all sides with the sick thoughts of some of the worst people in the world. By the time you leave the discussion, you want to take a shower and never go back on that platform again. So I think some rules are good. And usually I'm fine with most of the written rules for the main social media platforms. As long as I know what the rules are, I can abide by the rules. It's the unwritten rules that concern me. The unwritten rules are the rules of the human beings who moderate the content. The people who suspend you or ban you are people. And some of those people suspend you or ban you because you said something they don't like not because you violated an actual rule. But they'll say that you violated a rule in order to justify suspending you or banning you, and there's usually nothing you can do about it. The result of insanely biased people controlling speech on Twitter is that the Babylon Bee gets banned while the genocidal communist government of China does not. Obviously, there's a problem here. So. Is Elon Musk going to bring balance and fairness to the platform? I'll believe it when I see it, but I have to say, I trust Mr. Musk more than I trust the people who've been running the platform for the past decade, because I don't trust them at all. I would trust a drugged monkey to run Twitter more than I would trust the people who've been running it. And whatever you think about Elon Musk, I think he's better than a drugged monkey. I know some of you don't like him. I don't actually know much about Elon Musk, but the little I do know makes him seem like he'd be a good owner of a social media platform. He considers himself to be a free speech absolutist. And in an age when all of the major platforms have been moving towards restricting more speech, it would be great to see a platform start moving in the opposite direction. Mr. Musk also seems very future-oriented in his thinking. Most of his businesses look like they're dedicated to building the world of the future. His attitude seems to be, here's where the world needs to be in the future. Someone needs to get started on things now. It might as well be me. So he thinks to himself, we need really good electric vehicles in the future. Someone needs to be working on that constantly it might as well be me. We need to get back into space. We even need to colonize Mars at some point. Someone needs to be working on that. It might as well be me. All of the major social media platforms are heading in the same direction. That's dangerous for the future. Someone needs to change that. I'm the richest man in the world, so it might as well be me. As I said, I'll believe it when I see it. But I really hope he's successful in fixing Twitter. As someone who hasn't liked Twitter in a long, long time, I hope that he makes it better and that it becomes even more popular and that the other platforms take note of the success and modify their own policies accordingly. That's the dream. What do you guys think will happen?